Hey guys, have you ever tried to download a background from Google, but the resolution was too low that the image turned out to be completely blurred? Today I have a fix for you guys. While increasing the resolution, I will remove that blur and the pixels around that image and make the image more sharpened and with more quality. So I will make it look like this one here but I make this one from 400 to 4000 pixels. So stick with me and you will learn something awesome. To proceed, you will need to have Photoshop CC 2018, which came out this month if I am correct, and you will need to have it. Update from 2017 to this version, or you won't be having the same effects as I do. Alright, let's move to the first step, and that is to have an image already ready. I have this one from Tokyo Hotel. I will click on it and drag it inside my project on Windows. I will con click Ctrl plus zero or Command plus zero to see the full image. And this is how it looks like. Also, I will copy this image, I will dis duplicate this layer to a new one and I will have it also here so that we can have it for comparison in the future. So this is the first one, this is the second one, completely same, but now we are going to apply the first effect. I will head over to edit, scroll down to the bottom and click on technology previews and I want to make sure that enable preserve details 2.0 upscale is checked. This effect is only available on 2018 and the reason you need to have 2018 is because of this, you won't be having this effect. Click OK while it's checked on. Alright, let's move to the second step. Head over to image, image size. Make sure preserve detail is also selected and have 300 resolution. Make sure pixel per inch is selected and here for width and height you want to have also pixel and pixel. The resolution 4000 per 3000. This is what we had before. So this is now before. You can use preserve details if you don't have Photoshop CC 2018. Actually, we made a little mistake here. It's 4000. It's 4K per 3K. And we have it right now. This is with Photoshop CC 2017. For example, if you have this effect, it will look like this. Or you can use Bicubic Smoother. It will look like this. It's a little bit too blurred for me. I like personally, Preserve Detail is the winner here in any means. It looks completely awesome. This is how it looks. Click OK when you are done. Click Ctrl 0 or Command 0 to see the full image. And now compare it again. Previous and now. Let's save this one to the desktop so that we can compare it on the desktop again. Name it 2 and save it. All right, let's head over to the next effects. Make sure you remove this lock here. To remove the lock, just click on it and it's going to be removed. The third step will be head over to filter noise, reduce noise and have strength to 10, preserve details to 0, Reduce color noise 19% and sharpen details 57%. Click OK. And you will have something like this. It will look more natural for me. Alright. The fifth step will be head over to sharpen unsharp mask. Use the same settings as I do here. So it's 79%. The radius is 4 0.7 pixels and the threshold is 96 levels. Click OK to save it. 
All right. Click on layer zero and hold. Click just on layer zero and hold on it and click Control J to create a duplicate. Or you can simply go right click, duplicate layer, OK. And you will have this layer duplicated. I will use the previous one. So layer zero copy is selected. To select that layer, click on V or click on the move tool to select it. If you have that done, head over to filter, go to other and make sure you head over to high pass. And here is where the magic part happens. You don't want to use radius 1000. No, do you want to use radius 0? You want to use something in between. When the colors start to appear, that's when you want to stop. So this is when the colors start to appear. So we want something like this, with no colors, just gray and white. So that the face is shown without colors. Click OK to save it. Alright, click on layer 0, copy. Click on normal and select soft light. And we will have this image a lot sharpened now. And here we are done. Let's compare it. This resolution is 4, 400 per 300, while this one is 4000 per 3000. You can tell me in the description which one is the better. Let's save it to the desktop. Save as G. Let's save it actually as PNG this time. And I will name it free. I will actually save the wrong one and made a mistake. But I don't want to do that. I will save the two as PNG and name it free now. Save it to the desktop. Bam bam bam. And this is. Let's compare the both of three. This is the third. This is the second. And where. No, this is. Where is the fucking is the third? Here is the third. Let's open it again. Sorry for wrong language. And here is the second one. So, first one, second one, third one. Let's zoom in a little bit. So, this is 400 per 300. Without any changes. This is 4000 per 3000 with changes, we use preserved details. And this is with preserved details and some additional effects. So, down in the description, you can tell me which one do you like the most. The first one, obviously not, because it's completely blurred and that's from where we started. The second one, with preserved details only, or just with effects additional. Alright, I will use this one as a desktop background. This is the first one, let's check out the second one. As you can see, the improvement is already seen. But when you choose from the third one and the second one, there is only little improvement, but for me it looks better and with more quality. So this is the first one and this is the second one. This one looks more sharpened. And guys, that's basically it for this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please like, share and subscribe. And I will be seeing you guys the next time. Have a nice day. See ya guys.